Hey guys, it's your girl Bianca V giving you all of me. <laughs> I am here with a video to tell you guys about the essentials to a wash and go. So now that I have re-transitioned and regrown my hair out, I'm like, I'm gonna experiment with it. And what I've been experimenting doing is wash and goes. Now that it's summertime, wash and goes are like my best friend. And I was like so excited because I used to get a wash and go one good time and then when I tried to do the same thing over and over again, um, it would never come out like that first time I ever did it. But this time, I have mastered it and I have found the secrets to a wash and go. Are you ready for them? Here they are. Wash and goes aren't really just wash and go. <laughs> you have to put in work. That is the secret. <laughs> Y'all probably like, oh, clickbait. No, she didn't. But let me tell you why. Let me tell you what the key to a wash and go is. And I'm gonna like insert and show you a clip of how I do my wash and goes literally so I use a co-wash most of the time when I feel like the my hair has been um, filled with too much product then I'll use a um, natural shampoo but I found this new um, co-wash that I've been using faithfully it's called Bella by Bella curl it is awesome and I'll insert the clip right here clean your hair whether it be with shampoo or whether it be with a co-wash I do both I mix it up sometimes like sometimes I'm just too lazy to really wash with a shampoo because I still go back if I use a shampoo then I use a co-wash to make it less dry and then I use a leave-in conditioner because the co-wash has conditioner in it so I use a shampoo then a co-wash then I use leave-in conditioner so when I just use the co-wash I just co-wash my hair and then use a leave-in conditioner after um so shampoo not really that important to me in my routine I don't know I don't know if I'm doing this right, but it works for my hair. Use a good, a really good leave-in conditioner. Leave-in conditioners are the you're gonna be your best friend in a wash and go. That is plain and simple. If you have dry hair, you're going to need to use more than a leave-in conditioner. If you do not have dry hair or you do not like heavy products on your hair, then leave-in conditioners are great and you can just wear it like that. Um, I have two textures. I don't know if you can see how... Look, sorry I'm all up in the camera, but you see how these curls back here are like these curls back here are like really tight and coily and then this curl in the front is like loose so I have multiple textures and then right up in here like this part I don't have a problem with it being dry but right up in here in the side like these parts of both these sides I have really dry hair so this the top of my hair is like loose curls but it's not that dry the sides right here are really tight curls and really dry and the back are coily and not dry at all like it absorbs water like 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 if I could if I spray water right here the same amount as I spray back here like this will be drenched and this will be dry still you know what I mean so I have like three different textures in my hair so I don't I can't just do um, leave a conditioner alone um, but if you do have drier hair and or multi textured hair like me I use a leave-in conditioner and a curling cream the parts that are not as dry I use leave-in conditioner mostly and a little bit of curling cream the parts that are more dry 
Um, I use leave-in conditioner, the same amount as back here, and a little bit more curling cream. And then also, oils are really good. It locks in the moisture and keeps it in. So I use the difference between this um, African oil, which has like five multi oils. I guess I'll send you a picture of that, which I'm really running out of. So if I send you the picture, it's gonna look like this much in the bottle, but I just want y'all to see which kind I use. And I also use Cantu Shea Butter, Cantu Shea Butter's product, Pomade. Um, if you rub it in your hand, it gets warm and it kind of melts, and you can rub it through. Coconut oil, raw version coconut oil. I get mine from Walmart in the pharmacy section. Um, that is really good too. The thing you need is a good detangler. I have disaster detangling brush, and I'll insert that picture too. It works miracles, and I just go a section at a time and, you know, work from the back to the front. Those are the three things you need, the three essential things. Leave-in conditioner, curling cream, oils are good. I recommend them, so I guess four things. Leave-in conditioner, curling cream, uh, oil, and a good bomb detangular. <laughs> That's what I have, like mine is awesome. And the first day, if you want to do a wash and go, but you want big hair that day, um, I would do it the night before. I don't know about you, but I sleep on a satin pillowcase, so I don't really have an issue with my curls lasting. Um, but, um, your hair is gonna start off flat because, um, a little bit flat because of how wet it's gonna be, but the more it dries, the bigger it will get. So, where I work or where I go to school, it's a lot, it's really hot. We have time to be outside, so it dries throughout the day. I, I usually do my um, wash and goes on a day where I really don't care what my hair looks like so that way that that first wet day um you know i highly where important to be and um that could be my flat hair day you know whatever the second day and the third day i just it gets bigger and bigger every day today is the third day maybe Today is the third day, I believe, of my wash and go. Yeah, I think today's the third day. Um, it's a little bit um, rough right here, but that's because I was being lazy last night. But with me being lazy, it still looks good. Uh, another thing I do, other than sleeping on a satin pillowcase to um, prevent my curls from frizzing is uh, pineapple. Pineapple methods is great. And if you can't sleep with a scarf on, start with a pineapple, get yourself a satin pillowcase and go to sleep. If it falls off, you still got your satin pillowcase. So that was the secret to the wash and goes. If you have any more questions, comment down below. Um, feel free to ask me anything or if you want to see a video of what I do with certain things um, Please comment down below. Let me know what you want me to talk about or what you want to know And if you just have comments cool put it down if you want to do a collaboration video If you want to do a collaboration video hit me up my emails down below um Thank you for watching this video. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share with everybody you know. I'm Bianca V. Peace.